right, so this is where I left you guys. The last part, I got the uh, calipers right here, ready to go on. So what I'm thinking is, I should have enough room just to leave the car there. And uh, I gotta jack it up. God, my garage is a mess, I need to clean it up. So uh, yeah, we'll come back in a second. All right, after spinning like 10 to 15 minutes to get this top bolt out, I got the caliper and I even broke loose the um, rotor. So that's awesome. Pretty much got everything off. I just need to, you know, put the new rotors on, put the uh, new Brimbo caliper and then swap the line over. And I think I'm gonna bleed them. Yeah, I should bleed them after I do the other side. So, but here we go. Yeah. All right, so I actually changed my mind. I actually had to bleed the brakes as you can see right now. Um, I have to move the car because I couldn't get to the passenger side uh, tire or I didn't have enough room to get to that side. So I was telling myself, hey, let's bleed this so I can move the car. And as you can see right now, I unloosened um, this first side to start bleeding it. And you can see there's all that air in the line. Uh, unfortunately, I did this and I wasn't able to fully get it out, all the, all the air out all the, all the way. Um, but I took care of that at the very, very end after I um, tried moving it back and forth and noticed the pedals were feeling very soft. Luckily, my wife showed up um, after I was done and she basically helped me bleed the brakes, uh, you know, pressing the brakes while I... Uh, you know, open the valves, close the, close the valves and stuff like that. It was actually very helpful because I didn't have someone there to help me do um, this for my car. So it was awesome. Brakes feel great now. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. I was bleeding the brakes. This video is probably, or this part of the video is probably going uh, way too long than it needs to actually go. Um, so I'll probably uh, cut it here in a second. I ended up having to bleed this brake and uh got the wheel on and everything even cleaned up the wheel for you bow and you know make a nice presentation but how about you keep away from those curbs anyways i had to bleed it because i had to move the car um, i had no room on the left the passenger side to uh work on the other side so now i'm gonna move over there and uh yeah start working on it hopefully it won't take me too long all right i finished this side this took half the time i could i broke the bolts loose Without a problem, I just think it's the direction I'm going with the uh, tool on this bolt on this side versus the other side. Anyways, it's done. I need to bleed the brakes, um, which I need to go buy more brake fluid. Unfortunately, I didn't buy some. I was at the store just a minute ago. Now I gotta go run to the gas station see if I can get some. Um, I need to change the rotors and pads on the rears because they're pretty bad. Um, one other thing I'm gonna do here now is Look, we picked up this plug a while back and this car just sits in the sun and look at that. It looks terrible. So I'm going to pop the all this stuff out of the trunk right now and take it off and paint it. All right, first coat done. If you guys are wondering what paint I'm using, I'm just using some white paint that I had around. Um, I guess it has paint and primer. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably put at least two, three coats of this and then I'll put some clear on top of it and then I'll put it back on. Something small, little, was fading. Thought I'd take care of it since I have the car anyways. All right, now I gotta go go pick up the uh, brake fluid so I can breathe the blade. Blah, can't speak. All right, now I'm gonna go pick up the uh, brake fluid and uh, bleed the brakes so I can uh, put the car down and do the rears. Got it. Not the best stuff, but it will do. C-clamp, so useful, so useful. <clears throat> Never changed the brakes before. This is how you do it. It's pretty easy. Just uh, get a C-clamp, push the piston back. My C-clamp is old and broken, so this little thing likes to come out.
<clears throat> um, we're changing the rotors out, um, but it looks like they ordered the wrong rotors for the car, so of course we can't do it right now. Um, these rotors definitely need to be changed out, just so you know, Bao. As you can see, it gouged into this one for sure. The other one doesn't look too bad. Um, this one, uh, you can drive on it. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's just going to eat your pads a little faster. But I also know you don't drive this car very often, so you might be okay. Either way, I think you have time to hold out. Um, definitely need to change them out, but we should be fine. Um, yep. Okay. Also finished clearing this bad boy up, so we'll throw this on there real quick. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video or not, but maybe I'll cut it whenever I do the headliner. I don't know. Maybe this will be. All right, I'm going to throw this in. I thought I was done and uh, wrong. I tried moving the car just a little bit, and the pedals just feel way too soft and just want to. Uh, they just feel soft. And so there's definitely air in the line so I gotta bleed the brakes um, and jack the car back up and I thought maybe I should do it another day but I'm pretty much done so let me uh, just jack the car up and let me get done so hopefully this doesn't take me too long it shouldn't but all right just wanted to help you date you guys it is let's go all right avoid this area just in case there's any on the brakes not too bad not too bad maybe I should have a GoPro mount on the side maybe I should buy one of those one day I guess done cars move back hey as I was editing the video I forgot I didn't show you guys what the uh, cap looks like now so there it is the white is a little off, but actually it's not that bad. It matches pretty well, surprisingly, especially since it's just a random white that I had on my uh, shelf full of paint. So looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. It looks 10 times better than that faded yellow um, that was going on there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next part. Peace. <laughs>if you're still watching this video i assume you guys just let it play through and haven't clicked to a new video yet but this small little clip is just uh for my son michael and if he's watching this video in the future i just want to tell him i love you son and yeah that's it that's it you guys can leave now